you mentioned that you were kind of doing some real do, dealing with some like real life things, which I don't want to ask about, but it, it made me realize like, oh, he never you like you never post anything personal. Hmm. And around the same time, I kind of pulled back on that, too, because anytime I do post personal stuff, people get really weird about it and I always regret it. How do you kind of think about that and how how can you be like a private person while still being a public figure that millions and millions of people watch every month? Um, I think it's I've set those boundaries pretty fairly with my community. I, I haven't explicitly, I think, said them, but just through what I do, because my videos are me like it's it's like you're very much, you know, just getting right. my dumb ass in whichever way, whether it's through Twitch or through YouTube. So, so much of my life is already on here. And so much of what I do in my life is revolved around music and YouTube and streaming and all that shit. So they do already have a good portion of, I guess, my life. But just when it comes to the minute details, that's where I'm like, you know, I, I leave those for me. You know, and also it's even if it's like there's been a lot of fucked up shit in my life that's happened, especially over the last two years where I don't like crowding my channel and stuff with anyways, because that's my safe space. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> my content and music, that's where I go to, you know, and that's it's even when I was like younger in high school, like that would be like my escapism of of some like, you know, crazy family shit or whatever the fuck in my life um, is. I would go here and I don't want to open up my channel and, and, you know, see that there. My channel is for fun. It's, it's, it really is. It's a selfish fucking channel. The channel is for me, <laughs> you know, and I say that, and I always say anyone who wants to come along for the ride, like bless your souls. Hell yeah. That's awesome. But you know, a lot of the shit I do is, is just for me um, and, and enjoyment and having fun and it converts and it helps pay the bills and that's great too. Right. But it's something that, I don't want to cloud with like, hey, this really fucked up thing happened to me today. And then I just keep getting, you know, the notification of people commenting or things like that about this. Like, I don't want to be reminded of the fucked up thing. I've I've had times where fucked shit has happened and I'll just be like, it's streaming time. <laughs> and I'm this tough, man. Yeah. Like sometimes you get a horrible phone call like 15 minutes before your stream. Yep. That shit's tough. It's it is tough. And, you know, I'll, I'll be very transparent. I'll be like, I had some fuck shit happen, chat. All right, let's have some yeah. fun instead. Because, you know, I think I if I wanted to deal with it, then I, I can deal with it myself um, or, you know, with friends and family around me. Um, or let's take a break. But, uh, you know, refresh myself with this, you know, the things that have been built over these years and the things I enjoy and love. And then come back to it later and deal with it with a more healthy mindset instead of this extremely emotionally charged negative um, mindset. And that's that's kind of how I kept the two apart. I feel like when I started on YouTube when I was younger, it was I didn't I just didn't talk, so it was pretty easy to <laughs> avoid. But nowadays, yeah, I just I don't do many personal videos. Um, I just or personal tweets or any of that because I also see myself i feel like in people that watch because like i said i make the content for myself in this capacity of if i saw someone upload something and i'm having a shitty day i don't really want to hear them talk about their shitty day i i want to i you know i, I want to hear them have fun and do something fun and crazy you know so i'm like you know it, it, even if it's not for me, I got to at least do it for the people watching um, and, you know, entertain them and make it so if I'm having a fucked day, maybe they'll have a little bit of a laugh for five fucking minutes like that genuinely makes me feel better about sometimes my fucked situation. So I'm like, OK, like that's kind of how I, I translate it. And sometimes it can bleed over. And maybe even if I'm streaming, sometimes I'm like, this is really bad. Like, I'll talk about it. And I'm just like, there you go. It's there. But like, when it comes to like making my socials this personal blog uh, or yeah. personal mind blog or about all my fucking whatever uh, uh, extreme opinions of about life or political things or fucking religion, you know, like that kind of stuff that a lot of people use it. Like, that's great. People use their stuff for how they use it. That's too stressful for me. I uh, It's super stressful. <laughs> yeah, I I'm here to entertain people and make fun shit <laughs> and make their, you know, make my life 
fun and enjoyable and provide myself value and by giving people value for their time. That's, that's why I'm there. So when I do think about sometimes, you know, uh, uh, answering the voices and being like, you know, talk about this or do a video about this today. I'm like, why? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, I have to stop myself sometimes to do that. Yeah. And it, it, it just kind of invites more negativity. I think, I mean, we've talked about this before, but you know, Reddit obviously loves both of us. Um, mm. And uh, it doesn't feel great to open a thread, you know, open up Reddit and see a thread with 200 people saying what a horrible person you are and blah, blah, blah. Mm. And, you know, if you if you give them personal stuff to use as ammunition against you, they will. Oh, yeah, exactly. And that's why I'm like, hey, yo, if I open up, if I see something and they're just like, fuck your content, I'm like, OK, like, yeah, I, fine. I, I don't give I, a shit that I don't. That doesn't affect me in the least bit. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, it's, I'm like, oh, if, if I like criticism, if someone's like, hey, I didn't like this because of this, I'll like, I'll be like, thank you. Cause like, you know, maybe I'll, I'll take that into consideration. I'll see if, you know, oh, maybe I'll look back later and be like, fuck, they're right. You know, and I'll want to improve on that. I think that's great. But if it's like, fuck you or like, you know, your raccoon eyes that I get like fucking for nine years straight, yeah. I'm like, hey, guys, I don't know what you want from me. This is, this is, <laughs> this is how I fucking exist. Like, this- people make fun of my eyebrow. I'm like, well, I, <laughs> Or that I blink a lot. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't stop my eyes from blinking. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And I think that to, to bring that together, like I am pretty vulnerable in my content, but I'm not personally vulnerable yeah. in the capacity of, of, you know, very personal things or family things. But I'm vulnerable when I'm making music. If I do some weird noises or I'm fucking around and it's kind of sometimes cringe or embarrassing, like, I'll include that, you know, like that's because that's that's me. That's my natural response to things and emotion because I get excited Um, and people that fucking hate it. That's cool. Like, bye, you know, and if people that are like, oh, that's that that's kind of relatable. I feel that same way or, you know, I like this. That's great. Stick around. But yeah, that's that's why it's it's a tricky line. But I've I've just been doing this shit for so fucking long. that I feel like it's 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 just easier to not care to not. I I think you made the right move. Like, did you see, um, I guess it was maybe a year ago or something like that. Um, Anthony Fantano got a divorce, which I didn't, I didn't know about. And Hmm. people like leaked the court documents on Twitter. And it's like, bro, you're like airing out this guy's dirty laundry about his divorce. Cause you didn't like what he said about a fucking song. Like what the (laughs) fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Like if you hate his opinions, that's fine. But what the fuck? Like leaking court documents. These people should be fucking electrocuted. It, it can get bad, man. I mean, people get very invested um, emotionally into into things and people. And that's also a thing. Like I've had sometimes the, the, those like par- very parasocial relationships yeah. with, with some viewers sometimes where they're like, they're always there and they always want like the attention and this and like, this is what happened to me. And like, I get it. Like, I understand why they're doing that. And I'll just be very honest. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll be like, sorry that happened you know and kind of move on like i'm not going to get mad at them or that that make them feel like shit i'm just gonna i i I try my best to disconnect that like uh unrealistic expectation of the of the relationship as much as